Mark Furman a racist? Not if you ask his new neighbors. Well, who's on trial here? Yeah. yeah. Who is on trial? Furman? The police department? Nope. Somebody accused of murdering two people. They're XLA cops, too. So what are they all doing in Idaho? Eye on America goes to blue heaven tonight on the CBS Evening News. A deadly drug is back. Heroin hooked Jerry Garcia. It killed this mother of two. Is someone you know next? 48 hours tonight. It's a house of secrets, a house of passion. You had an affair with Judge Firestone. A quickie in the bailiff's lounge. This fall, the most intriguing house on TV is a courthouse. The court has no sympathy. Find out what happens when the robes come off. Courthouse premieres Wednesday, September 13th. Contains violence in adult language. This is CBS. Live from the News Center, serving Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, Tim Lake, Siani Lee, and John Bolaris with our exclusive Earth Watch forecast, News Center 10. And good afternoon, I'm Jenna Zapala. And I'm Sherry Bank. Tim and Siani are off today. And our top story this noon, the widening probe into police corruption and the possibility of high-level changes within the Philadelphia Police Department. It has been nothing short of embarrassing for the department, the corruption probe involving the 39th District and at least six officers, perhaps many more. In all, it could lead to at least 42 convictions possibly overturned. Here now the latest officer to come clean, 38-year-old Lewis Mayer, facing charges for planting evidence on drug suspects and for making false arrests. His lawyer says Mayer will plead guilty to one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights. Amid all of this turmoil, new concerns at police headquarters today separate from this corruption probe. And New Center 10's Bill Baldini is live in Center City with more on that part of the story today. Bill. Good afternoon, Janet. The number two man in the Philadelphia Police Department, Chief Inspector Thomas Seaman, is leaving. He's leaving the department for another job at the University of Pennsylvania. He'll be the chief of security there. Richardson's body will be taken to his Germantown district where he lived for many years, and then the interment will be in Bellacan Road. Again, a very large turnout. Services have just gotten underway. Live outside Zion Baptist Church, John Blunt, News Center 10. Sherry, Janet? A lot of people feeling this loss. They really do. They really do. Uh, the mayor said he was just one of a kind. Thank you, John. There's still a lot more ahead as we continue right here on News Center 10 at noon today. Products that work for others that may not work at all for senior citizens. A look at product testing on the Seniors Report. And don't get caught in a tight fit. Coming up, a few hints on how to take the pain out of your footwear. Also coming up... It's here, Windows 95 comes in with a bang and a mega media campaign. And John Valeris is in the Weather Center. Hey, John. Hey, Sherry. We're going to start you up with a weekend forecast as New Center 10 continues. Heather Luckler's new man. Oh, my God. It's so good. Will he cause temperatures to rise even higher on set? Find out on Extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Channel 10. From London to Limerick, the newest wave in home computers has arrived, Windows 95. After years of talk and the biggest hype ever, Windows 95 is on sale now. What makes this notable, it's the first major revision of the program that runs about 80% of computers worldwide. But some critics say other programs are as good or better, and they're telling people to buy Windows later after the bugs are worked out. Microsoft founder Bill Gates says mm, that's okay with him. If people wait... Uh, that would be too bad, but understand Microsoft is, is very conservative. If, if they choose to wait till they get a new machine, fine. We'll just keep on making Windows better and better. And if you're one of those who just can't wait, Windows 95 can be yours for about $90 to $100. And we have quite the story coming up next on News Center 10. New wrinkle tape. It might be your answer to tighter skin without the facelift. And the exclusive Earthwatch finds this weather is, of course, wonderful, but we need some rain. The news continues. <laughs> you know, a guy who never puts his foot in his mouth. Oh. John Bolera is here today <laughs> with our beautiful weather. But, of course, we do need some wet stuff. Yeah, we do, John. So. <laughs> yeah, we do need the wet stuff. Not talking about moose in the hair or anything like that. We need rain, and we uh, don't see any real rain in sight. Really, right through the weekend. I know that's good. You say, hey, great, great weekend. But uh, we can get rain during the week, and uh, nice weekends, then it'll be all right. But for now... We need rain, and I don't see any. 86 degrees, humidity 46%, pressure falling. 
Winds, weather fans, out of the hot, humid direction, southwest at 10. Sunny skies go up to 90 today and then whoosh, go back into the 80s tomorrow. All right, let's take a look what we have. It's a summer breeze out there, kind of a strong west wind out ahead of a cold front. Cold front just slipped on through Scranton, and that cold front will be going through the Delaware Valley around 3 this afternoon. Poconos, 81 degrees. Allentown, 84. Everyone in the 80s with a stiff breeze blowing out of the west. The tropics, very, very active today. We have a tropical depression off the African coastline. That may take on the name Karen over the next 48 hours. Umberto, now the winds have cranked up to 100 miles per hour in Umberto. Well, watch Umberto, still five, six, seven days away at least from the U.S. mainland. Same with Iris, winds remain at 80 miles per hour. And of course, Tropical Storm Jerry downgraded to a tropical depression, but may become reborn again in the Gulf of Mexico. And here we go through the week. Saturday, no rain in sight. A beautiful day, though. Sunny skies. And then Sunday, no rain in sight. Nice day, about 88. Monday, getting close to 90 once again. Then Tuesday, cold front, maybe a shower, a thunderstorm. We need the rain. And then next week looks nice, too. Yeah. So we just have to keep an eye on the tropics and look for some rain. You sound like Mr. Rogers. A beautiful day <laughs> in the neighborhood. I like him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. And much more still ahead right here on News Center 10 at noon. The Phillies, good news for them. They are back on the winning track. Sports is next. And coming up tonight, right here on News Center 10 at 5 and at 6 o'clock, Los Angeles Police Detective Mark Furman says he needs money now, and he's asking for your help. Medicine that's meant to help can hurt if not taken properly. The government says you're not getting enough information, and it's now proposing major changes at the pharmacy. Find out what you should expect. I insist that you taste this. this is you nice. insist? I insist. I'm Steve Levy, and coming up a restaurant where the food's really good, and the customers are really pushy. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> Guy with the best job in broadcasting. It's all coming up tonight right here on New Center 10, beginning at 5. Oh, that's Steve. In sports, it's the final tune-up tonight for the Eagles before the start of their 95 season. Tonight's preseason game has the Birds kicking off against the Steelers in Pittsburgh. The Eagles will be without the services of defensive lineman Red Hall. He may be lost for the entire season with multiple blood clots in his lungs. The report on Phillies pitcher Kurt Schilling a bit more promising. He had surgery yesterday to repair a bone spur on his shoulder. The good news is his rotator cuff is not torn and he will likely be ready for spring training next season. Janet and I agree this is a very strange story, an exchange of bats at the Franklin Institute. Uh -huh, there were wooden bats right. and living bats. Phillies <laughs> President Bill Giles presented the Franklin Institute with a Louisville slugger in exchange for a bat puppet. The Phillies are sponsoring the Science Museum's Ooh. exhibit of Egyptian fruit bats called Masters of the Night which uh, apparently has been a big hit with Franklin Institute visitors. They are interesting creatures. Yeah. <laughs> that wraps up News Center 10 at noon. For Janet Zapala, John Bolaris, for Tim and Siani, who are off, I'm Sherry Bang. Thank you for watching News Center 10 at noon. We'll see you back here beginning at 5. If you see news, call 1-800-TIP-WCAU.